Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a fabulous Christmas, but we'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a very quick colouring chat, just colouring in 50 Wintertime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I'm just going to do this Christmas tree one just because I like it. Just a quick um, colouring chat, just to have a catch up over, about Christmas and what we all got up to and, and what you did um, and, and such things as that. And um, basically just... Uh, finish off the well not the month because i'll probably do another one on new year's eve um which will be one that we start for the new year i haven't decided what's going to be yet it might be something epic it might be something small um, i'm pretty washed out on christmas pictures because i think it's because it's been an awful year so let's get started um just a quick disclaimer this channel is for adults and not in any way shape or form are these videos made for or intended for children so let's crack on so i'm just going to use my link shine and my jelly rolls for this picture it's all going to be glitter because I'm in a glittery mood. So yeah, I have done a few Christmas pictures. I haven't finished off any of my whips. I've got more whips on the go. I'm trying to finish off one in one of the Colour in Heaven magazines. I've got a couple in Relax with Art on the go. They are Christmas related ones and I am going to try and finish them off over the next day or so before the new year. So I'm filming this on Monday the 28th. And it will be up on Tuesday the 29th. I'm actually at work on Tuesday the 29th, so... <sighs> That's not good, is it? Going back to work. Still, it's all okay. We'll, we'll live. Um, I only work four hours, four and a half hours, so... The only issue I've got is I have to work downstairs tomorrow uh, and the rest this week because uh, Jennifer is not in nursery because the nursery's closed for Christmas. Uh, I should have started this at the bottom, really, because I'm going to end up put my hand in it so yeah so did we all have as good a Christmas as could be expected with the way things have been I'll go to the bottom and carry on from there now <laughs> did, did we did we have a good Christmas that's all I want to know did you have a good time um did you get everything you wanted or anything you wanted I wasn't really particularly bothered this year so I had a wish list on Amazon and I got some stuff for that I got a Judy Garland, the, the Lost Tracks Volume 2. I've got the Lost Tracks Volume 1. So I've got the Lost Tracks Volume 2. I haven't listened to it yet. And I got two Blu-rays um, of two silent films that I wanted for a while. One is Wings, starring Clara Bow. And I can't wait to watch that. And the other one is um, The Son of the Sheik, which was Rudolph Valentino's final film. It was released after he died. So, um... I uh, so that was off my list and also off of my list I had a book from my brother I had the Julie Andrews the second part of the book I haven't read the first one but the second part's about her time in Hollywood so when she went to make um, Mary Poppins and then The Sound of Music and so on so I thought because it's the Hollywood years even though it's the 60s Hollywood it would be far more interesting although I would like to read the first part of her uh, autobiography series as well um, so it's that. I also had some money and I've ordered myself a few bits and pieces. I ordered myself the Mozart's watercolour paints. They're coming on Wednesday so that will be before the end of the year. So they will be in a very small haul. It is a very small haul because I am not buying a lot of stuff at the moment. I'm trying to cut down. I want to use the books I've got. I want to colour at least one picture in every book before um, getting too many more books. So we'll talk about that again I got I've ordered that I've ordered um some lenses for my phone to do my photography because I, I mean a lot of people say oh, I'll just use a normal camera and I would normally but it's very hard to carry around uh, like a DSLR and a toddler <laughs> and have a toddler and try and take photographs as well but it's easier with the, the phone so there's a I think there's a, a macro lens and a, a telephoto lens so yeah, so try and do a bit of photography on my phone. I do like using DSLR and that, but it's just not practical. As she gets older, it will get easier, and then I will go back to um, using my cameras properly. Proper cameras. But there's nothing wrong with using a phone. I, I like using my phone. And a book on Jean Harlow. 
So over the next day or so I'm going to start getting together the review of the year, which is what we've coloured. I can't show you every picture, I'd never be able to find them all. Um, I might pick out a few of my favourites though. Um, what we've coloured, uh, how many pictures I've coloured, how many books I've bought, and what I've, how many books I've read and my favourites of those, um, how many films I've watched and my favourites of those and my plans for the new year so I am going to start very soon creating a sort of timetable to try and stick to of when I do things so for instance it'll be up Monday film Tuesday eBay Wednesday project X uh, just a project I'm working on it hasn't got a code name it's just something I want to work on and then it'll be back to oh Thursday filming Friday eBay and so on like that Whether I'll stick to it religiously is another matter, but it's just a guideline to help me try and get back into getting my eBay business on the go again, because I am getting sales, don't get me wrong. I have had a sale, I've got one to go off tomorrow, and I'll walk down to the post office and drop it off when I finish. But I haven't been listing and stuff and photographing, and I've got a ton of stuff up here that I want to get done. I've got some cameras, I've got some games. I've got, oh, lots of strange things to get listed. I've got a, a digital camera bag that I'm going to list. So there's stuff to go on that I could get done, but I just haven't got round to it, so I need to do that. But, yeah. So there's lots of stuff to be getting on with you know I've got tons of stuff to list I've got a ton of clothing in this room I've got two suitcases of clothing in another room so until I've I've literally cleared the clothing in this room and I've started the clothing in that room and I'm like down to one suitcase I'm not even going to be looking at buying anything I mean it's very difficult in lockdown I mean But yeah, Christmas was nice. Jennifer enjoyed it, which is the main thing, um, obviously being a kid. I mean, she doesn't really still understand it, but she sort of gets that she gets presents on Christmas Day now. I mean, she hasn't asked for any more presents since, so that's something. So I think she gets that part of it, which is good. Um, and she loved it. She had Play-Doh and she loves playing with that. And it's quite good fun. And she had a few other things. Some of them we haven't even started. We've got something we need to put batteries in we haven't done yet, but we will do it in the next day or so. And then there's um, other things as well that we've got to do. Um, but she loves what she's got and she's enjoying them so far. She still loves her dinosaurs. She's got a cuddly dinosaur from my brother Chris, which she adores. It's called Do Doda or Doda. Thinks he's lovely. And then she um what else did she have? She had an etch a sketch type toy. She had a couple of those and a some paints from my dad and mum. Lots of few books, sticker books, colouring books, that sort of stuff. Oh, she's she's happy. A load of clothes from Nana. In the next size up, which is lovely. It will fit her lovely. She's got quite a long body, so the two to three stuff's really short on her. The t-shirts and that they rise up above her belly, so she's wearing a crop top. Oh, battery's dead. I'm just going to change the battery, and I'll be right back. Right, I found out I didn't have any batteries charged, so I had to go and charge it for a little bit, so not that you've noticed. So it took me a while. That's only been a couple of seconds for you. So not even that. So yeah, we had a lovely Christmas day. Christmas dinner was lovely. And uh Paul's mum came for it because she's on her own, she can come and visit. So we we're allowed to visit her because uh, one of the things they've allowed due to mental health concerns, so 
Uh, we had a nice Christmas at lunch, that's the main thing, and it was a nice day. Jennifer was shattered by the end of it. Still gets up at half past seven every morning or earlier. So, let's get a bit closer. But, you know, kids get up when she wants to. Some days she gets up at half past eight, some days she's up at half past five, so. But, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to watching my movies. I don't know when I get a chance to watch them because I have to watch them downstairs because they're Blu-ray, so I have to watch them on the PlayStation. Um, and I, yeah, it was just... I might do it on the weekend, you know, like New Year's Eve or something, or... Yeah. We don't really stay up for New Year's. Sometimes we stay up and watch Jules Holland. I mean, it's just one of those years I just want it to be over. <laughs> so, I'll have to wait and see what we decide to do. I mean, I'll be honest, we're so tired these days, what with having to run around after Jennifer. It's <laughs> unreal. But it's good. It's good fun. She's amazing. So, um, My mum and dad got a, a tablet from my brother for Christmas so that he could video call them. So they managed to get that work here and they did it and they had a video call which was nice. So I, I speak to him on the email every now and again, I send him an email. We have a little conversation going back and forth. Um, but yeah, so that was good. They're fine, they had a nice Christmas too from what I can see. So I hope you got everything you wanted. Did you get any colouring supplies? Like I said, I bought myself some... Um, paints I'm just waiting for them to arrive I did get one colouring book from Paul which you'll see in the hall at the end of the month a very small haul I've only had about five or six books because I'm trying to cut down like I said I'm, I don't want to buy as many next year I want to be colouring in the books I've got and I've got um, a good three quarters of a shelf filled with books I haven't even coloured in yet so I want to try and get that down to just a quarter. I mean, I'm still going to buy my Jade Summers and I'm still going to buy Colour in Heaven. Other than that, I'm going to try and cut down and only buy one other a month. So I might say like in, get a birthday, I've got a couple of birthdays in January and one in February. After I've got rid of those, say in March, I might treat myself to a Clara Markova book and that'll be my one book for the month. Other than Colour in Heaven and Jade Summer. Which for me is lucky because Jade Summers had a few weeks off over Christmas. <laughs> they haven't put anything out as a relief. Um, and while that would be a more expensive book, that would be fine. And then I might buy um, a Hannah Lynn one or a Selena Fennec. They've both got books out, new ones that I haven't got yet that I want. I don't have to rush. They're not going to hopefully disappear. So there will be less calls in the new year so it might be that they won every other month rather than every month obviously we will still be doing our completed pages and our colouring chats and our flip throughs you know but it's just it is hard I got so many books and they're good books as well a lot of the books I've got are really good you know I've got some I've got two um, of the Hannah Carlson's I haven't coloured in yet I'm still missing one of those. I've got a couple of Selena Fennex I haven't coloured in. I've got the Doctor, second Doctor Who book. I've got all the Kirby Rosannas. I have coloured in one of them and I still haven't finished that picture. So January, I think... It's going to be pretty much an anything goes month. Whatever I feel like colouring, I'm going to try and finish off the Kirby Rosannas whip because it's been hanging around far too long. Just colouring this tree in with this glitter pen is taking forever. <laughs> I mean, we're on 10 minutes. Mind you, I was chatty chatty for a bit, wasn't I? So I'm hoping the weather won't be too bad tomorrow so I can get down to the shop and maybe take Jennifer out for a walk to the park or something. Any problem, she do not want to hold your hand. and I, I hate that. And... Uh, Yeah, we'll have to see. If Paul wants to go for a walk, maybe he'll take it down. He usually goes for a walk if it's not raining. 
And I'll say, oh, can you run this down to the shop for me? So I want to try and get back into my photography a bit next year. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to do a lot more on my phone rather than not do anything at all and not just take pictures of Jennifer. I'm going to try and take some scenery with my phone. My phone takes fairly decent photographs as it is, so I'm going to try anyway. We'll have to, have to see what happens. Try. I like I said, I used to do this thing called Blip Photo. Um, it's a, a daily journal. You can post one photograph every day. You can get a free account, which is what I've got at the moment, or you can buy a premium account, either pay it monthly for £3.65 or pay £36 for the entire year or something like that. Uh, something like that. I can't remember what it is. Um, I, I'd have to have a look at what it is. Um, I was having a quick look earlier, but I didn't have an in-depth look. And basically, you can just post a photograph every day in a little... Um, description of the photograph and, and what you were up to. I used to post, I, I did one year where I po did post every day, I think. I think I made it. And I want to try and do that next year. Because I've been out of the habit of taking photographs and I want to get back into it, so. We're doing it, sounds like uh, Sounds like Paul's woken up. He's in the master bedroom. I'm in the spare room colouring. Oh dear. Hard oh day. Neither of us wants to work tomorrow. Oh. Oh well. Still, if I was running my own eBay business, I'd have to. So, which I am running my own business, but if I was full time, I'd have to. So, yeah, let me know what colouring supplies and books you got and let me know what you want to see in the new year. Are you quite happy with it just being colouring chat and flip-throughs and hauls and the rest of it? Or, you know, what we do, do is there something you want to see? Obviously the weekly vlog, carry on doing that. Of course I will. I mean, there'll be more vlogs as things start to hopefully improve. Um, in the new year, we can only hope and we get to be able to go out more hopefully we'll be able to uh, get out a bit more and see some more things, I mean I wanted to do Caerphilly Castle this year and um, of course with it all being shut down we never got to go so hopefully we might get to do that at some point so many things I want to do and so many places I want to take Jennifer and go to myself and that's just in the UK I mean I'd love to take Jennifer to California to America when she's a bit older but you know what it's like no one's going anywhere at the moment which is how it should be I mean it's really weird and And sometimes I think that things like this happen because, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Mother Nature says, enough of you lot, you've caused enough havoc with me, you've damaged me enough, I'm going to get rid of you. And I th sometimes think it's her way of saying enough's enough human race, you've got to go. And she tries to get rid of us. One day she'll succeed. Might not be this time, but I think one day she will. It's just, uh, you know, the planet says enough is enough and these things happen and it's nature's way of saying, look, you have done too much damage and we are still doing it. I know that we are trying to be better and cut, cut back on waste, but I think it might be too little too late. I hate that we have 
so little tolerance for other, other thoughts and people. You know, everybody is valid. Everybody in this world is absolutely valid. And, you know. Even the bad guys think they're the good guys, right? <laughs> I like this tree and I, I love these link shine pens, they really are my favourites. Um, I mean, I've done 20 minutes and I haven't even finished the flipping tree. Just the green bits. So, um, what book would you like me to colour in? I mean, I've got lots of them. I mean, most of them are either on the halls or the completed, complete, I've got a complete collection up, which is what I did last year. So you can look at that and then look at the halls that I did this year and, and pick a book and let me know. Or if there's one you've seen recently in a hall, let me know and I'll, I'll colour in it. Yeah. Is there anything particularly you want me to, to review or to see or to try out. I'll try it out. I've got lots of, you know, it may take me a while if I need to save up for something, but I'm, I'm certainly willing to save up for something if I need to, if, if it's something you want reviewed or you want to see me use on the channel. Oh, my hands hurt in a minute. So just, just let me know what you want to see next, next year. Right, um, so tired. I am so tired. It's unreal. Yeah, I'm just gonna colour some more of this in, and I might just finish it off on New Year's um, Eve. This is a uh, pink, not red. It's got a red top on it, but it's not because Jennifer was playing with them, and she takes the tops off, and then she forgets to put them back on. You didn't see it anyway, so. But uh, yeah, I'm just doing pink ribbons on these um, bells on the tree. So here's one here. I don't want to do too long a video because we could be here. I could, I could colour and talk to you all night long. I, I really could. I love talking and I love colouring. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Up until today, I haven't done any colouring since. Mm, Friday, Thursday, Friday of last week. I literally had time off. It's not that I wanted to, I just didn't have time really. I knew I wasn't going to be filming and I've been thinking, oh, I want to get on with this picture, I want to get on with this picture and I have just not had the time. I've been so busy, um, obviously playing with Jennifer and stuff like that and at night I've been so shattered, I've just been going to bed. But this is, I mean, I did do some colouring earlier on after Jennifer went to bed downstairs um, and one of the pictures that I want to finish um, as soon as I can. It's looking really good. I'm really proud of it. I've only got a little bit to do now. It's not. There's not much of it left, and you'll you will see that one at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, so it's just a matter of not having the time. I mean, today I did a roast lamb dinner because Paul's mum gave us a half leg lamb. She always gives us a lot of food over Christmas. She's given us a load of steaks, half leg lamb pate, um, 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 pork pie, which we'll eat tomorrow probably for lunch. And, and you know, so I mean that took ages to do. I don't mind cooking that though. It was lovely. I really liked it. Certainly, oh I missed the dongle on that one. I'm not going to complain. But I just have not had the time to colour. <laughs> so today was the first day I've actually sat down and thought, right, I'm going to colour, I can't wait. Oh, I've missed a bit of green there. But sometimes it's like that, you just don't have the time. I mean, there are other things that sometimes you have to do. That's why I like to colour at night in bed when I'm relaxing. So it's like tomorrow night, I'll come to bed, whatever time I come to bed. And I'll try and finish off one of my pictures, or I'll do a bit in one picture and 
a bit in another because like I said it's the one I'm going to finish that's nearly done so I'll probably do a bit of that and then I'll want to try and do a bit in um, some of the other ones, some of the Christmassy ones I haven't finished yet that's, uh, I've got on the go I've got a, a pattern downstairs that I've been doing for ages a three colour pattern, red, blue and gold it is gold isn't it? yeah, red, blue, yellow, gold uh, I would like to finish those as soon as I can but uh, I have not been able to yet so now I want to uh, uh, where's my jelly rolls? There we are. Gold from the jelly roll now, which is sort of a more of a yellowy colour for this. I've started using the jelly rolls a lot lately, just because they had slightly different colours. Which is nice. It's nice to have them. Just have that. Yeah, sometimes you can't with these that you can't see whether or not it's completely, and you can't see them at all, covered the um, area that you're trying to colour. But I do like them. I would buy them again, but I don't use them that often. Like I said, I have used them this month a lot more than normal. And that's okay. I'm happy to do that. Red baubles. I think what I'll try and do is finish the tree part and then we'll do the background on New Year's Eve because it's going to be long enough. We're already at 30 minutes. So. I'll probably leave that bit white and just put some um, a white, a white wing Costella or a clear wing Costella over it to uh, make it look whoops I, you can't even see what i'm doing i'm just i do apologize i should just give up i really should so uh, i'm not going to uh, it happens from time to time because i can't look at the picture and look at the camera as well, at the same time obviously that would be very odd so Let's put the top on there I have been watching YouTube as well while I was waiting for the camera battery to charge. I was watching a YouTube video about um, vintage camera hauls. So people who go around thrift shops, charity shops like I do. Because we don't have thrift shops in the UK. We have something called charity shops, which are the same thing. Um, and um, buy cameras. I do that. Sometimes I buy them from auction. You know, I've had quite a lot from auction. I've kept some. I've sold some. You know. And I enjoy it. I mean, obviously the auctions are closed at the moment because they're not classed as an essential business. So who's to tell you that your business is not essential? If it makes you a living, it's essential. And I think that's what people are starting to rebel against, to say, you're telling me my job, my business is not essential, but it's essential for me. It's essential for the people who buy from me. It's like Amazon's not essential, but they're, they're selling non-essential products. So, yeah, it's just one of those things that uh, is going to be interesting to see how long it lasts. I mean, they are allowed to use their discretion, so they can sell, not, like, shops can sell non-essentials if they so wish. Um, so, for me, for me, Jennifer's getting to the point where I need to get t-shirts for her, because she's so, her top half is very long. She's already wearing three to four on top. I think she's going to be tall like her brothers, my, like her brothers, like my brothers and her uh, nieces and nephews on my brother's side. Um, my brother's kids are tall. He's over six foot. My brother's over six foot. My dad's the shortest um, in our family. Um, men, man. Paul's quite short, um, but Paul's. I think dad's my dad's brother was quite tall so it's just one of those things you know she seems to be quite lanky in a good way you know 
she looks bigger than three. I, I, to me, she does, but then I'm not an expert on, on kids because she's the only one I've got. <laughs> it's very hard. And, uh, yeah, so she's, I think, taller than most people. Most kids her age. She's as tall as some of the ones who are four. Um, I've started school. So we will have to see. So, yeah, it's um, right. What am I going to do for the star? Because there's like three bits I think I'll use. Where is it? Oh, where's my orange gone? There it is. Oh, it's gold. It is quite cold at the moment in the UK. I mean, like I said, some of the UK has had snow. Not where I am. Some of Wales has, don't get me wrong, but not where I am. That's pretty much the way it goes. The last time we had a significant snowfall was February 2018. So it was just after Jennifer was actually born. And she... Um, she was like not quite a month old and we were at home and it was freezing there was snow everywhere the heating went off oh it was a nightmare we had electric fires on i was sleeping downstairs with her to keep her warm because we have an electric fire down there and i put that on but it worked out all right in the engine she was fine i was worried obviously because you know she's my first she was young but she's Obviously fine. She goes suffers from very cold feet, which is a family trait. I think Paul suffers from it as well, and we all suffer from it in our family. So she's uh, yeah, so I mean, her feet are like ice blocks because she will not leave her blanket over her. She throws it off. Every time I check on her, and sometimes I do in the night. I don't always, but if I'm feeling you know if I'm not too tired and I just don't want to get straight back to bed and sleep I'll go in and just see how she's sleeping and if she's really really not got the uh, blankets over I pull them back over her like you know to uh, try and keep her warm because she will not keep the blankets on I'll be honest, there's times, I mean in the summer I don't, but in the winter I do, I love, love nothing more than snuggling down in the duvet and uh, oh, there we go, and um, just, you know, getting on with it and getting under the duvet. So I'm looking forward to doing when I finish this video. So I'll just uh, turn all the lights off. Snuggle down under my duvet and uh, turn the lights off and go to sleep. I've got to set my alarm though. Even though I don't have to set it for as early, I do have to set it for about seven. It's fine. I usually get up at, I usually, my alarm goes off at ten to six. I get up at ten past. I get uh, uh, like an hour to. 40 minutes to myself watching TV, well, watching the news, catching up on what's going on. And then <clears throat> I, I get Jennifer up for nursery. Now, obviously, tomorrow I don't have to get her up for nursery. Um, and I'll make sure I get Paul up about half seven. I'll have half an hour to myself. Make sure Paul's up to start work. Though it doesn't matter for him, he can start a bit later. It just means he has to work later. For me, I work set hours, so... We were eight till half past twelve. So I'm hoping that Jennifer will sleep. <laughs> I'm hoping, I bet she doesn't, past eight o'clock. So at least, you know, the longer she sleeps for me, the better tomorrow. But then again, she's going to be up, want to stay up late. It's, it swings and roundabouts, it's just that I'm going to have to say, look, if anybody complains that I'm in personal time, I say that I've got to sort Jennifer out. I got no childcare, so I'm doing my best. It's either that or I just don't work at all. It's up to you. 
It's when I booked my holiday for Christmas. I didn't know that the nursery was shut. Otherwise, I would have asked for these three days. And uh, well, next year she should be in um, nursery at a school, which is different. But schools would be closed anyway, so I'll be asking for in between because she'll still go to the nursery for wraparound care. So basically, if she's in for school for a couple hours in the morning, I'll drop off at nursery at half seven and I'll pick her up at one as normal and we'll pay for the hours she's at nursery. I don't know how they work it out, but they do. They've got a way of working it out. And they even drop them off at the school, which is good. I like this tree. I mean, I need to fill in a few gaps I can see on the green and the gold but I'll do that in a bit well when we finished because this video is now over 30 minutes long and I think that's enough for colouring something with sparkly bits so in the next one we'll have a catch up on what's been going on while I've been at work and whether or not I've actually read some of my book I am currently reading I've just started reading um home is it homework yes homework by Julie Andrews which is her Hollywood years Sounds fascinating, looks really good. I haven't read Home, which was her first uh, part of the autobiography she's writing in, in sections, which is a really good idea. But uh, from what I've read so far, it's looking good. So this is what we've coloured today. I do hope you've enjoyed this little colouring chat. I know it's not uh, anything new and exciting. It is just a Christmas picture, even though Christmas is done and dusted with for most people and they've had enough. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. It's a nice one. And I'll finish it off um, in the next video. If you want me to, if you if you if you want me to start something new for the new year, even though this one next one will be going up on New Year's Eve, let me know. Otherwise, I'll finish this one. It's up to you guys. Just let me know what you want, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.